the weather is nice and it's cooperated with us. We're on the lake. Let's have some fun. <laughs> Welcome back and thanks for joining me this week. Before we go have fun out in the water, we need to do our usual things that we do every week. So let's light our candles to show that we are connected to, through the Holy Spirit at this time. Again, if you need help, make sure to have an adult help you light your candle. And we are now connected and let's read our story for this week. This week, our story comes from Exodus chapter 2 verses 1 through 10. It can be found on our in our Spark Storybook Bibles on page 66 in Exodus chapter 2, 1 through 10. Page 66 in our Spark Storybook Bible. Baby Moses. Pharaoh, the king of Egypt, was afraid. He was rich and powerful and scared. What could he be scared of? Well, strangely enough, Pharaoh was scared of God's people, the Hebrews. He thought that there were too many of them, and he was afraid that they would try to become more powerful than he was. To make sure the Hebrews had no power, Pharaoh made them his slaves. He ordered them to work very hard. Even worse, he demanded that all of the Hebrew baby boys should be drowned in the Nile River. Because of this, God's people were terribly afraid too. Everyone in Egypt was afraid. During this fearful time, a baby boy was born to a Hebrew mother. She loved her baby boy, and of course she wanted him to live. The baby's mother kept him safe by floating a basket for him. She put the baby in the basket and hid it in the water in, in the plants on the edge of the Nile River. The baby's big sister, Miriam, Miriam, hid near the shore and watched over the basket. What happened next was really amazing. Pharaoh's daughter came down to the river to take a bath. She saw the basket among the water and plants and asked her servant to go and get it. When she opened the basket, she was surprised to see a baby boy crying. Hmm. This must be one of the Hebrew children, said Pharaoh's daughter. He's awfully cute. Wouldn't it be fun to keep him? Aha, uh -huh, thought Mir Miriam. I can help her. Miriam bravely stepped out from her hiding place. I could probably find someone to take care of that baby for you until he's a little older, she said. That would be perfect, said Pharaoh's daughter. Miriam was excited to tell her mother the news. The baby's mother took good care of him. When he was old enough, he went to live with Pharaoh's daughter. Miriam and her mother prayed that it would be safe with her. I think... I will name him Moses, said Pharaoh's daughter, because I took him out of the water. Moses lived in Pharaoh's palace until he grew up to be a man. During that time, life became worse and worse for the Hebrews. Eventually, however, Moses helped free God's people so that they could leave Egypt. Now, there was something besides fear for God's people. There was hope. So let's go out back out to the lake here and let's do a little bit of an experiment. We're going to play a game called Float or Sink. Here we are on the dock. As you can see, we're going to see with these items what will float and what's going to sink. Make your guesses now and we will find out here in just a little bit. Let's get in the water and let's find out. All right, so now that I'm in the water, let's see our first item, if it's going to float or sink. You take 
your guess. First thing that we have, we have my keys. Now these keys contain anything from a key to my car to the key to my house. I have this cool guitar lock case that I could lock guitars on to even uh, the keys to the church. So let's see, do we think they're gonna sink or swim? You ready? Oh, it looks like they went to the bottom. Next up, we have a tennis ball. Do you think this tennis ball will sink or float? Let's find out, here we go. We're floating on the water. I think we're good. Next up, we have this rock. It's gonna sink or float. Ready? One, two, three. Ooh, that didn't float. That went right down. And last, we have this basket. I don't know what it's going to do. Do we think this is going to sink or float? Make your guesses now. Final guesses. Here we go. Three, two, one. It's floating. Look at that. So as you can see, we had a couple items that floated in the lake and a couple that sank. You can play this game too. Just need a bathtub or a lake, a pond, anything like that. Just make sure that whenever we're doing it in a lake or a pond, that we have somebody there to watch us in case something goes wrong, because we never know when things could go wrong. But if we're in a bathtub, go ahead and play it. Just make sure that you're not putting items in the bathtub that you shouldn't. That's my only disclaimer on that. Each and every week for the next month, we are going to talk more about stories about Moses. Now, it's really cool that Moses survived through some of the, that bad time when Pharaoh said to kill all of the Hebrew baby boys. It's really cool that he was floating in a river and he was discovered by Pharaoh's daughter right on the edge there. And as we saw in our time at the lake, baskets do float and you can put things in them and they will float as well. But there are many, many cool stories about Moses. Next week, we're going to do one of my favorite ones about Moses. And in the weeks after that, we'll have even more amazing stories about Moses. But now is our time for our song. This week, we're going to do something really cool. I am going to lead with one video, and you're going to follow with another video of me following as well. Kind of a different thing.
Thank you guys for joining me this week. I hope you enjoy yourselves. And until we see you again, take care and remember to wash your hands. Bye now.